Joe, what was the difference in the second half? You, you had a good grip on, I think. What, what in the first half? Did they have some wrinkles they threw at you, or what did you see out there? Yeah, we knew like the first 15 players were going to give us everything that they had, and we just settled in, and we just did our assignments, and we were playing angry, chip on our shoulder, and knowing that you know the first half was BS. So, yeah, we just need to start like that. How much about that first half was juice or, or getting up for it or eight straight games or any of that stuff, sort of stuff? I mean, yeah, you could point blame to a, a lot of different aspects, and... Ultimately, it's just on us. Like, it's on the leaders. It's on the coaches. It's on the players. Like, we're better than that, and we didn't show it. I'm sure it was an emotional 48 hours. Uh, things bigger than football, and coaching and your dad. But how, how difficult was that, and how much you know? It's, I guess you mean to you guys and, and all that. Yeah, it just really just puts things into perspective. How. You know, football is amazing and football is life, but also there's so much more to life. And um, my heart goes out to Coach and his family and respect the hell out of them for sticking with us and coaching with us. Um, that's a warrior. And so we, I mean, not the result we wanted, but we fought, we fought for him. Yeah, we just want to score or go up. And we didn't. And then the next time we're down there, we get a fourth down and we kick a field goal and we miss it. Um, just got to score, you know. It's a game of stops and scores. We started to get some momentum and then we didn't put the nail in the coffin. takeaways and um, two big ones today with interceptions. Um, mm -hmm. how, how good was that to see? Yeah, it's, yeah, that's our job. It was it was great. More turnovers, give our offense good field position, gain some momentum. We need more of that. How much of the second, the second half was about schematic adjustments? And how much was it just playing with more emotion, more energy like you're talking about? I really, I mean, it was both. I mean, we knew what they were giving us. They went in, like, unbalanced, like, I don't know the statistics, but got to be, like, 75% of the time in the second half. And, like, that's just because we started to take away what they what they do well. Once we rattled them and had two picks, like, they shut down. Plain and simple. They shut down and just ran the ball. And that's what we wanted. We just got to find a way to win. We keep finding ways to lose. <laughs> it's crazy. Like y'all, like, all of us are part of it, which is the humbling thing about it. Like you can't just point blame at somebody or someone. Like extreme ownership on accounts of everybody in our program, and that's what we need to, you know, digest this and move forward. Last question for Scott said he thought you guys were pretty business-like all week, and he didn't say that was a bad thing necessarily. He was not sure how to read. It. Were you worried at all about not having juice early on, or? Yeah, I mean, we're going on our eighth game. They just came off a bye week, so um, that's just the fact of the matter. And you can assume anything you want about that, but um, it is what it is. They came out ready to play. We did it, and we played catch-up the rest of the game. It was too late.